This is Bowden Barrett control this, and the cup is his. Match number eight of Rugby World Cup 2015, one of the feature games of the opening weekend. Defending champions New Zealand taking on the Pumas of Argentina. Moves it on, Retallick, Sabia quickly through the hand, Sonny Bell Williams sets it up, and Sam Kane this time makes no mistake. That could be the defining moment of the game. And then that lip gives him on, let it go through his fingertips, and that is the end of the game. Well, Argentina at half time were in with a chance of a boil over. But a superior bench and cool heads under pressure in the second half. We've seen the All Blacks home by 26 points to 16. Yeah, well, it's been a while since our last game and, you know, we've been over here for 10 days or so. So, you know, we're itching to get out there and get started. And uh, now we're underway, we can, I guess, assess where we're at and, you know, we're going to have to make a lot of improvements. But uh, that's the nature of uh, rugby, I guess. Well, New Zealand hit a real rocky patch midway through their match against Argentina before they pulled away, largely thanks to their superior fitness and some great impact off the bench. Once again, the All Blacks on the front foot. Vicky Toa moving it wide. Milner Scudder! Second try of the game, Nehi Milner Scudder. And Barrett running quickly onto it. Barrett Barrett, and there is that speed. Blacks will try and make something with the possession. Barrett pops it up to Sonny Bell Williams. Oh, beautiful ball in there to Malachi Vicky Tor for the try. That was magic from Sonny Bell Williams. Oh, it was tidy enough, but I mean, it was a very difficult game to play, wasn't it? It was a pretty stop start, so uh, that makes it difficult. Um, we scored some nice tries, but uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, we got a good 80 minute head out. The All Blacks have made it very clear that they want to lift their game as the playoffs loom, and it starts here with Georgia. And here is Waisaki Nahalo, the man who's come back from that broken leg, looking to make a big start. Oh, he's going to score! Waisaki Nahalo, the quickest try of this World Cup. Well, they haven't had to wait long for that. Trying to break through between two tackles, has lost the ball in contact, it's a turnover, big answer. Almost broke through there, nudged ahead by Ciclari, the fullback, and the referee says, play on, and Georgia are going to score! What a moment for Becca Ciclari, from the Locomotive Tbilisi Club in the Georgian capital. 48 metres for Lasha Malagoradza, and he plays his rugby in France. Close the gap back up. He's got plenty on it. Plenty on it. That is over. Oh, what a great kick from Lasha Malaburaza. And New Zealand's leaders cut to two. Now Carter has it on to Becky Toa. Spots the gap. Malakai Becky Toa. He's going to go all the way. Brilliant try. And the All Blacks are finishing strongly. The kick and a touch. Booze around the ground. The game is over. 43 10, the final score. Unimpressive from the All Blacks. Gallant from Georgia. And on the famous turf of St James's Park in Newcastle upon Tyne, New Zealand meets Tonga. Ben Smith stayed up on the short side. Lovely quick hands. Milner scattered away to Kane. Conrad Smith. Ben Smith. And in for the try. Some lovely handling from the All Blacks, and they get the first try at St James's Park. Pass away to Milner Scudder in a lot of space. He's got Carter with him. Milner Scudder. Nono, he's going to do it. It is 100th game for the All Blacks. Nono gets the try. Tonga bit farewell.
to Rugby World Cup 2015. And the All Blacks go to the quarterfinals where they'll play either France or Ireland on the back of a 47 to 9 win here. I certainly think we've got a really tough game today, which is certainly what you need at this time of the tournament. So, you know, obviously things can, we can work on the first half. They put us under a lot of pressure. So, you know, it's, it's going to be like that next week. Um, so, you know, in some ways, we fought back really hard and I'm glad we got some points in the second half. The second quarter final of Rugby World Cup 2015 and history repeats as France and New Zealand return to the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff where they faced off at the same stage eight years ago. French fans have come across the channel in force, in expectation, in hope and certainly in anticipation of another epic match between these sides. The Welsh have left town, but Les Bleu of France, the All Blacks of New Zealand have moved in for the night. Who will be left standing? To give their backs some room to move in. Now Reid, Conrad Smith, a show of the ball and the offload are brilliantly taken by Nonu. Milner scuttled the step, Nanny Milner scuttled the score! Oh, brilliant try! He is scintillating. Britannic, and it goes to Salvia. See you later. <laughs> oh my goodness me! The ball goes out. Stunning performance from the All Blacks. 62 to 13, and they stamp their mark on this World Cup. Oh, very happy. The intensity was always going to be up a notch. And we talked about it all week about uh, needing to be up a notch. And I'm just proud of the way the guys, especially at the start of the game, we, uh, we got onto it and applied pressure right into the field. And, um, you know, we, we were pretty clinical in terms of uh, when we got our own half. And, uh, yeah, proud of that. But, uh, you know, happy, happy with the performance. But uh, all it's done is uh, earned ourselves another week. And uh, that's exciting. But uh, we certainly won't get ahead of ourselves. Rivalry forged in the early 20s, often brutal, very often controversial, sometimes quite spectacular and never dull. A rivalry that burns deep in the psyche of these two proud nations, New Zealand and South Africa. Smith takes it away to the right, Ben Smith up on the line, McCall floating a pass. Um, slippery ball. Knocked down to McCaw, who loses it, but Aaron Smith now has it. Carter has a drop kick. Carter, it is over! Well, you don't see the All Blacks going for the drop kick very often. I think this has been knocked away by Bismarck Duplessis, but Carter has it. On it goes to Nonu. Martin Nonu trying to set it up for Billington for the try. The Springboks, the heart still beats. Matfield loses it. It's all over. A game right out of the history books between the All Blacks and the Springboks, but it's New Zealand who go through to the final. Uh, it was always going to be close. I mean, they're a great side, South Africa, and they showed that again today. And you know, I was really proud of our guys. They kept the composure and, and uh, you know, coming out at half time, we managed to score a few points and then stay composed for the rest of the half. Any preference for who you face in the final, Australia or Argentina? No, I don't care. We're, <laughs> we're in it. Hey, I'd just like to say a big shout out to all the New Zealanders here too. Thanks for your support. One of the great rivalries of world sport is about to be played out again. Aaron Smith. Conrad Smith. Aaron Smith. Here it comes, McCall. Milner Scudder. Absolutely typical. New Zealand skills at their best. Sonny Bill Williams to Nonu now, and Nonu finds a way through, steps, oh Nonu, my God, score here! Mitchell with a 
tackle. No! The All Blacks are on their way to a very special place in World Cup history. The two scores. Mitchell given away. Ben Smith. Barrett is chasing. He's got poked off for speed. This is Bowden Barrett. Control this. And the cup is his. It's New Zealand. And it's history. Confirmed. Back to back. World Cups. A first on overseas soil.